at what happens. Reports meantime out of Washington today that relations are getting very frosty in the White House press room, and it's not because of the AC. Reporters are starting to show their frustration, if not downright hostility, because they're not getting enough access, they say, to the president. There is a report out today that they fear retribution if they, if they engage in negative reporting. Brett Baer is the anchor of Special Report. He's got more. Brett, before you were the anchor of Special Report, you were a White House correspondent for Fox News, the senior White House correspondent. So you know a thing or two about covering the White House. What exactly is the latest beef between these current members of the White House press corps and the Obama White House? Well, Megan, I've, I've talked a lot with um, our senior White House correspondent, Major Garrett. I've talked to other members of the press who cover the White House uh, all across the board. Uh, and the main problem is access to the president, asking questions to the president. He hasn't held a full-blown news conference in 10 months. And he uh, did not really open himself up to questions uh, week to week anywhere near uh, President Clinton or President Bush. Now, since this article came out, a very detailed article in Politico laying all of this out, last night the president on Air Force One came back to the cabin and answered a few questions from reporters something I can't recall him doing since he's been president. I know he did it a couple of times on the campaign, uh, but clearly they are a little perhaps shaken with all of the uh, reporters and all of the coverage of how negative the press believes they're being treated uh, at the White House. Well, and it does seem that every time the press makes a complaint along these lines publicly, the president comes out and gives a press conference or has some sort of a, an interaction with the press. Brett, the reports, this is according to a report that appeared in Politico, uh, are that some of the White House reporters fear that they will be punished if they say things that the president does not like and that the White House report rewards those reporters who promote uh, its agenda. Is that unusual, Brett? I mean, is that not what all presidents do? Well, listen, every White House tries to control the message. However, the anecdotal stories uh, from a lot of reporters who don't want to be quoted uh, specifically but can tell you the stories if you're just talking to them are that if they write something negative about this White House, this president, a specific policy matter, that they get very angry emails, they get phone calls, uh, heated exchanges with members of the press uh, department. The press secretary, Robert Gibbs, is said to be a little bit tough to get a hold of uh, day to day and that he has perhaps uh, ambition to be a senior advisor for President Obama and may have uh, become a little frustrated with the job of press secretary. There's a Washington Post story you may remember a couple of weeks ago that suggested just that. So that's the frustration. But, you know, the Obama administration is taking an anti-Washington view of things. The White House press corps is very Washington. So uh, no, very, I don't very think first they're worried too. about it. <laughs> yeah, no, I know, but I don't think first from their perspective, they're not worried about it. Yeah, but what disturbed me about the reports, Brett, you tell me whether I'm, I'm off base, is that they say that a lot of these reporters who complained, the White House press corps who complained about President Obama and his lack of uh, accessibility, wanted to do it off the record because they fear retaliation. Now, I mean, is there a problem when you've got reporters who are making complaints about the president being inaccessible and they're so afraid that they have to do it off the record because they don't want to be targeted? They, we, we all need access. We need access to the president to do our jobs. Yeah, I mean, it's a problem. It is not an environment uh, to, that is uh, welcome to be working in. It's a tough thing to do your job. Ed Chen from Bloomberg, who's now the president of the White House Correspondents Association, described it this way. He said, it's a level of anger which is wide and deep among members over White House practices and attitude toward the press. I mean, that's on the record. That's pretty broad and pretty uh, specific. And when you hear these stories of uh, the White House press office uh, getting very angry if something uh, is not exactly the way that they would have phrased it, uh, yeah, it's, it's a bad environment. You I'll know, say this. Yeah, go ahead. Some of these news organizations quickly uh, had an expectation after the campaign that perhaps they would be really in, in the inner circle. And uh, Fox didn't have that expectation. <laughs> Uh, well, you took some flack for your own interview with Pre the President Obama for interrupting him, which so few reporters do, uh, but you also got a lot of information, which so few reporters do. Uh, Brett Baer, thanks so much for coming on, buddy. Okay.